Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football back here at the 90th Annual Texas Coaches Convention here at the THSCA in San Antonio. Here with the head coach of the Gregory Portland Wildcats, Coach Brent Davis here early on Monday morning. Coach, I uh, appreciate you taking a few you minutes bet. to chat with us. Uh, first off, congratulations on a, on, a, on a wonderful season last year there in your first year back on the Coastal Bend. Yeah. Uh, you guys had a heck of a run uh, going all the way to the uh, – all the way to the regional regional finals. I mean, that yeah. was, that was, it played a you know, great ball game there against Flower Bluff. But, I mean, in year one, you know, obviously no one expects to go to the regional finals in year one. That, that's a big thing. Big, that's a huge accomplishment. How, 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 when you look back on the season, how happy and proud of your program and your kids uh, were you? You know, I knew when, when we went. I, I was in South Texas for a while, yeah, and, I, and yeah. I knew a lot about Gregory Portland. And I knew once we got there and got established and got it going that they were going to buy into it. And that's, what, that's exactly what happened. We got – great kids uh parents have high expectations uh and uh you know when you have that and you and then you go to work it, it usually works out pretty good so I, I i'm not gonna say i'm not a little surprised that it happened that fast but uh you know very grateful and, and just a testament to how hard they work well you know you know you, you, you get to a new job and you, you guys started out a little slow last year you play a tough yeah. schedule play some good people and the kids are trying to figure the system out and you guys are kind of learn, trying to learn the kids and what they can and can't do. Was there a moment last year where you felt like, okay, guys, we, we, we got this thing. We, we, we got the ship turned in the yeah. right direction. Was there a moment last year yeah, that you felt it, like? Yeah, and it was actually a, a loss that we took. We Kyle Allen beat his first game, and, and they were much better than us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we go we – were, we were supposed to play uh, uh, low, uh, Los Fresnos. Los Fresnos, yeah. And, and that got canceled because mm-hmm. of COVID, so we picked up Bernie, and Bernie's got a really good football team. And yeah, Regional so, finalists as yeah. well last year, yeah. So we go up to play him at their place, and we played really well. I mean, we they beat us uh, by one touchdown, 35-28, but, uh, you know, we kind of grew up in that game. We kind of figured out what we needed to do to have success, and then the next week we played, we opened district with Moody and just took off, you know, and, and that was the moment, I'd say. Okay. And uh, see you mentioned you, you got, you've got roots in South Texas. I know your lovely wife is from that part of the state. You've had a lot of success down there. You know, obviously your, your, your time there in Senton and, and you right. had some great teams there at Alice. Uh, even before Senton, you were at Banchetti yeah. down there. You, 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 you're familiar with the lay of the land. Uh, so, obviously, when the, when the job opened up and you took the you – were, you were at a great place in San yeah. Angelo when the job opened up, uh, coming down to the Coastal Bend. But, but the, the, the level of football there – it, you know, people don't realize how good and, and talented a lot of the teams are yeah. down there. When you came back and you started to watch the teams in your district on film, did it kind of hit you? Okay, we're th- these guys can play. Oh know, yeah. The, the rest of the state is kind of sleeping on these guys a little yeah, bit. Yeah, big time. Especially Flower Bluff. I mean, I don't think they get the recognition they deserve. They've done a great job, Coach Steinbrook. They've been there almost 20 years, I think. Yeah, and, that, that, uh, that staff, that kind yeah, of that kind of continuity. They got, yeah. yeah, they got that establishment there, and and uh, they're they're our probably our biggest rival as far as a district rival yeah and uh and so you guys are heading down to, to with them in, in division you going to division two this year and yeah. you, you guys are joining them in a, in a, in a real grand valley district you know you're used to travel though you were in san angelo <laughs> you guys are hit, hitting the road a lot how do you how do you prepare your kids for that kind of travel is it more just about setting up a routine when you, when you have to take those yeah. road trips and keeping the kids that's on really, schedule that's really what it is more than anything is just not making a big deal out of it mm-hmm. you know just this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to do it we we always would eat you know, with lunch and then do a walkthrough at our own place. And then we would go on the bus and travel, you know, and, and I had to kind of figure it out in San Angelo, but, uh, first year I was there, you know, we would try to get there really early and get acclimated and all that. And I yeah. figured out that wasn't working. We, so what we started doing was we would, we would do a lot of our prep at our place mm-hmm. and then get on the Where bus. comfortable. Yeah. And then we would get there just in time to get ready for the game. And, to me, that's worked out way better for us. And okay. we were talking about uh, the, the community, you know, now that we're Division Two, and we're going to have some games down south. Oh, this is so far and all this. And, I, you know, I've tried to let them know, look, this in West Texas, this is like the closest game. Yeah, this is you no know? big deal for us. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this a two-hour is, trip is yeah. the closest trip. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be good. We're going to get to play some teams down there that, that we haven't played in a while. Uh, some good atmospheres down good there. Atm- lot, yeah. Hey, South uh, the Valley, Valley football. They, they, they show up in, in droves, don't they? Yeah, I mean, they, really and truly, probably uh, if you look across the whole state, I bet they have the biggest uh, community fan base that turns out oh, down yeah. there. You yeah. know, it's it's crazy. Now, uh, you know, it's the second day of coaching school, always a huge event, kind of the kickoff for, for the season. How special is it to be a part of THSCA, uh, to be active in the association and, and, and just kind of get out here and see all your old friends and check out all these vendors? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an awesome. awesome event. I mean, this – there's nothing like it. I yep. mean, uh, people all over the United States talk about Texas high school football, and 
you know, how important it is. And, and you can tell by, you know, when 13,000 people show up oh, yeah. and all the vendors. And just a, it's a good time. You get to see guys that you haven't seen maybe since last year. Yeah. And, Reminisce, and you know, that's probably the, see kids that you coach. Yeah, that coach yeah, now. yeah. I've I've got several that I coach that are now coaching, so that's always fun too. Oh yeah, you start, swap a little strategies. Yeah, see, see what they're and, and it's good for you guys. I mean, even though I won't date you, but you've been around a little while. But yeah. you know, you can, you're you're a lifelong learner. You're there's always something you can learn at these sure. events, right? You betcha. Uh, let's look ahead at 2022. We 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 think you got we think highly of you guys. We think you guys are going to have a, a chance to be a really good ball club this year. Uh, when when Wildcat fans see your team take the field in the week in week one. What, what do you think the Wild, Gregory Portland Wildcats are going to hang their hat on? What, what are going to be your strengths? Well, our strengths, like last year, was just playing solid defense and having a really good running game, you know. And we complement our running game with, with our passing game, but but we're a running football team. And I and when I was in San Angelo, we weren't, we were, you know, we were a spread throw it team. Yeah, a little more throw it so, around. So, yeah, yeah, and, and uh, just had to change our philosophy a little bit because of the kids we have and, the, you know. To adjust the, to the personnel, exactly. right? Exactly. But that's the thing is those that, that offense you guys run, you, you can adapt it to your kids. Yes, you know, If you've got time. good running backs, you're, I mean, you're, you're a smart coach. If you've got a good running back, you're going to hand them the football. You're, yes, you're going to let your guys make plays. Final question for you. We, we, we ha always had fun with you talking about San Angelo Mexican food. Oh, yeah. Food down there. There's lots of good Mexican food in Corpus Christi. So what 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 are your favorites? What 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 are the Coach Davis go tos? Well, the probably my favorite is La Playa in Corpus Christi. I like La Playa yeah. too. When I went down there for seven on seven, I, I, I told you I went yeah. to La Playa. That's La Playa is really good. I mean, it's authentic and and it's kind of a mix. It's not really, you know, the kind of Mexican food we had up in uh, San Angelo, but it's a it's a good. Like I don't know that they have them anywhere but Corpus, do they? I don't think so. I've, I've only seen the, the two in Corpus. They got two and, in Corpus. And if you like seafood, you can get, they, they got good yeah. seafood there too. And they it's, got it's, a, you know, they got a kind of a Mexican cuisine with with the seafood. You yeah, know, it's good so stuff. So. It's really good. Yep, that'd be my that'd be my pick. That's my choice. That's my first <laughs> choice as well. So, coach, we'll let you get off to. I know you got a couple of, a couple of events you got to get to. We appreciate your time. Hey, thanks. Uh, congrats on a great 2021 season. Good appreciate luck in 2022, that. and uh, we appreciate what you do for student athletes. Appreciate y'all, man. I know, you know, Texas football, y'all. Y'all, you know, support it and advertise it, and uh, we really appreciate that. It's a lot of fun, Coach. We appreciate you. Uh-huh.